Today I'm going to talk about the Ultra Drain Guards. There's many different models of Ultra Drain Guard and we plan to have a training video for all of them, but in this session we will focus on the original models. But first, let's briefly discuss what drain guards are and why they are needed. Did you know that approximately 70% of all storm drains lead directly to open waterways without treatment? I don't know about you, but I always assumed that those drains led to some sort of wastewater plant so that pollutants could be removed. This is why beaches sometimes get closed after a rainfall. Did you know that a one quart oil spill causes a two acre oil slick? That's a huge area from a minimal amount of oil. And to think some people still change their car's oil at home and then pour the used oil down a storm drain. Did you know that 46% of all impaired rivers and lakes in the U.S. are polluted due to uncontrolled stormwater runoff? Not because of chemical spills or leaking pipelines or anything like that, but because of the stuff that's flowing into storm drains. Stormwater and stormwater management is something that most of us take for granted. We drive through it and it gets our shiny cars dirty, but shortly after the rain stops, it all just magically disappears. Okay, maybe we're not naive enough to think that it's magic, but for the vast majority of people, once it leaves the streets, stormwater and its environmental impact is forgotten. The drain guard is a heavy duty geotextile material that is placed in a storm drain and acts as a filter to remove pollutants from the passing rainwater before those pollutants can get into the waterways. Drain guards are generically referred to as catch basin inserts or sometimes upside down witches hats. The installation process for these is pretty straightforward. You lift the grate off the storm drain, you place the drain guard over the opening, and then you replace the grate. Done. A note of caution, those grates can get pretty heavy, so it's not always an easy process. Having a second set of hands is always a big help. If aesthetics are important, any excess material can be trimmed with scissors or utility knife once the grate has been reinstalled. If you can leave the excess material, it would be a benefit by working as a pre-filter and removing pollutants above the grate and before it has a chance to get into the drain guard. The drain guard is available in three different models, the oil and sediment model, the oil and sediment plus model, and the trash and debris model. The oil and sediment model basically consists of two different parts. The top portion, or apron, gets pinched between the storm drain's opening and the grate and keeps the unit in place. It also helps to channel water into the second part, which is the body, or cone, of the drain guard. The apron is 36 inches by 48 inches. But keep in mind that some excess material is needed to be pinched in between the drain and the grate. A good rule of thumb is that the standard drain guard can be used in drains up to 30 inches by 40 inches. The body is 18 inches deep and is capable of holding up to 40 pounds of sediment, silt, and sand. The entire unit is capable of also absorbing up to 0.87 gallons of oil. If you take a closer look, you'll see some holes around the top of the drain guard. Those are overflow ports. The material that we use has a 90 gallon per minute per square foot flow rate. In the case of a large storm where the flow rate exceeds that number, the overflow ports will allow water to pass through untreated. On the grand scheme of things, flooding and ponding in the street is more hazardous than a bit of untreated water getting into the waterways. Next is the Oil and Sediment Plus model. The plus indicates that it is capable of more oil and hydrocarbon absorption. This model is able to capture up to 1.55 gallons. This is possible by adding strips of an absorbent material called Extex. Extex is different from other absorbents in that it will not absorb water, only oil and other hydrocarbons. As you might imagine, that's a significant benefit in a stormwater product. Other than the addition of the Extex strips, the Oil and Sediment Plus model is exactly the same as the Oil and Sediment model. Finally, we have the Trash and Debris model. Unlike the other two models, this model is constructed with more of a screen type material for the body. This will allow for more sediment and silt to pass through while capturing only large pieces of trash, such as paper cups, cigarette butts, and food wrappers. This model is good for places such as stadiums, shopping malls, and other areas where litter is a common problem. When your drain guard is full and needs to be replaced, there is something to keep in mind. 
The storm drain's grating is what's keeping it in place. In other words, if you don't plan ahead and you lift that grating, that entire drain guard and all the junk that it's captured is going straight into the bottom of the catch basin. That's why we have these straps sewn into the top of each drain guard. When it's time to remove a drain guard, you can pull these straps between the openings in the grate and then place a steel pole or a piece of rebar or something between the straps. That way, when you pick up the grating, you're bringing the drain guard with it. The drain guard can be reused if it's filled with sediment, sand, or silt. Simply remove it, empty the contents, and replace it. If you know ahead of time that this is what you're going to do, it's a good idea to either leave the apron untrimmed completely or at least leave a few extra inches. This will make it easier when you put the unit back in the drain. If the drain guard is saturated with oil, reusing it is not recommended. As we wrap up the session, I want to share a picture with you. If you ever wonder if a single drain guard is really going to make a difference, remember this. This dumpster contains the contents of 50 drain guards that were empty after just two weeks. I think it's pretty incredible to consider all of this would have been in our waterways. Well, I hope that this session proved to be valuable to you and that you now better understand the ultra drain guard. 